everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. So Virgo, let's check your cards out for this week, starting the 14th of November. And from the teacup tarot, your overall energy here is the king of coins. The kings are authority figures in the deck. And the king of coins brings you success, confidence and opportunity. The king of coins has the Midas touch is successful in whatever he turns his hand to. And he's happy, or she is happy, to share this wisdom with other people. So here's a lovely dose of confidence, new opportunity coming in and know the success is here for you this week. How can we help ourselves? We've got the strength card, card 11. And this card says, be gently and kindly assertive. So when you're dealing with other people this week, using kindness as your intent, that will bring you so much further, so much more quickly. So kind assertiveness will pay off this week. Your guidance here, the five of coins, says get your focus in a positive place. Don't be too focused on lack. That's just what the angel's doing here. Look, she's focused on the little empty piggy bank. And she's sitting on three coins and there are two right behind her. So it also says, ask for any help if you need it, this card. This is a temporary sense of lack. So stand up, turn around, look at the bigger picture and know that you have everything you need. How can we help ourselves? We've got the page of teacups. Now the pages are messengers. The page of teacups brings in messages of positive emotions. So you could well get an email, it could be a text, it could be a, an old fashioned letter, bringing news of positive emotions, joy and happiness. So stay awake for that this week. Also, this card says, trust your intuition. It's right on track. Listen to it. It's there to help you. And pulling it all together, the Eight of Pencils brings in a lovely dose of self-confidence. Now, we were talking about that here, having confidence in yourself. And here's another reminder. Now, our little angel here, look, she has a balloon and it's full of negative thoughts. And she's just about to pop that with a pin because she doesn't need them anymore. Because selfbelief.co.uk has brought her a gift saying, oh, yes, I can. So no room for self-doubt this week. No room for lacking confidence. Acknowledge they might be there. But oh, yes, I can needs to be your mantra for this week. And the final outcome card, the Four of Pencils says, take some time out, rest, relax, meditate, because it's in this time of rest when you think nothing is happening, that in fact everything is happening because you're making the space for the lovely angels and the universe to bring in the guidance and the clarity that you're looking for. So just to summarise, Success and confidence here for you. Don't let any negativity hold you back. Focus on what you do have. Be gently and kindly assertive to get yourself moving forward. Good news is coming in for you. And just take time out to relax and rest when you need to. So clarifying now with the Time to Shine deck, the Four of Action is the card of celebration and success. This is you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. This card says, time to receive with grace and gratitude. 
The one of life is a lovely new opportunity coming in. New opportunities, new doors opening for you. It could be a new job. It could be a new career. It could be a promotion. When that door shows up, remember to step through it. The seven of thought comes in and says it's time for you to close the door on the old ways, leaving behind what isn't working and focus now in your new direction on your needs and your new plans. And the key message with this card is it's time to move forward with optimism. Speaking of moving forward, we've then got the Dreamer card. In traditional tarot, it's the zero of wisdom in the Time to Shine deck. This card says, take that leap of faith. Follow your dreams. You can do it. It might mean stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit, but take that step forward and follow your dreams. And it's lovely that it's fallen under this new opportunity card. There could be an absolutely golden opportunity this week for you to do just that. The 21 of wisdom is about endings and new beginnings. It's about celebrating the completion of one project, a job well done, and then moving on, moving forward to the next level. This is a card of advancement. This is a card of success and starting out on the next new adventure. And the two of thought comes in saying that when you get these opportunities, make a choice, make a decision, make a wise choice. Trust that you already know what to do and make that positive decision to move in this new direction. So the overview of the full reading. Focus on success, focus on confidence and self-belief. Don't let any negativity hold you back. It's time to move in this new direction. Leave behind what's no longer serving you. Open this door to new opportunity because the success, the new adventure is waiting for you. It's all here. Don't let negativity hold you back. Make your positive choice and walk through that door of opportunity. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. It's lovely when you do. Then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.